Uh, city commission meetings tend to be rather low key affairs. Not last week in Birmingham. It all happened as the mayor opened up the meeting for non agenda items. Voices were raised. Attorneys advised not allowing discussion. Before you knew it, the meeting was over mid sentence. Rod Maloney live with more on what happened. Rod. Yeah, Devin, you know, in downtown Birmingham, beautiful place, uh, lots of business going on. They're very careful about adding growth here. And so when you see signs like this, you begin to understand that they've spent a lot of time thinking about whether they should add a parking garage and a $60 million bond issue. And it's controversial. This new deck on New Old Woodward. All right, you have to stop. Resident David Bloom is a local activist fighting this new Birmingham expansion plan and bond. Didn't like this flyer the city put out. There was a presentation made by Joe Valentine, myths versus facts, about things that... Mr. Mr. Bloom, we're allowed to educate, not advocate. You're advocating. He was shut down, and that's when resident and activist Clinton Baller jumped into the fray. This is our city's no, city this attorneys. Is a freedom of speech issue. This is You're a First Amendment issue. My first call in the morning is going to be to the ACLU. You are violating our First Amendment rights. I don't care about a contract between the city and the cable board. After about three or four minutes, the mayor wasn't putting up with the debate. Gavel, the meeting closed. All right, Go this ahead. meeting is adjourned. Today, Baller said he thinks the city's supporting the bond and preventing opposition from making its case, adding it wasn't properly discussed in public. Well, I'm going to keep fighting. I hope the bond is defeated and that very quickly uh, the city uh, has a plan B. City manager Joe Valentine says that is just plain wrong. There has been limited involvement of some of these individuals, uh, but recently uh, there's been a push to... Uh, engage the community with the misinformation to get them involved. And another thing that Valentine points to is that this was the city's uh, flyer that they sent out, and it's what originally sparked the controversy. Well, Baller filed a complaint with the state, Secretary of State's office. Well, this letter came apparently today saying that this is okay and that Baller's claim is specious. Now, they're going to be holding more meetings on this subject. Another one comes tomorrow night. Reporting live, Rod Maloney. Local wow. All right, Rod. Well, tackling 